Welcome back to Kilowatt Kitchen. I'm your host, Chuck Wagon. We've reached the final round of judging and our contestants have been busy crafting their own take on an energy efficiency kit. They've chosen specific ingredients to put in the kit to help save energy. Let's bring them out. I am so honored to be on the Kilowatt Kitchen. In my restaurant, we pride ourselves in saving energy wherever possible. Whether it be turning off the oven light, unplugging the blenders when they're not in use, or reusing soup that a customer sends back. Just kidding. I'm pretty confident that my kit will be the most energy efficient. I'm not a big fan of waste, I gotta say. I, uh, see it everywhere. And it's not just because I'm a sanitation engineer, either. It's, uh, I, I've got a knack for knowing when waste is present. That's why my energy kit's going to save the most energy. And uh, those other kits, they're just garbage. My kit is going to win. I just know it. As a zookeeper, it is my job to make sure that different things go together well in a certain place. And I have put a lot of awesome things in this kit. I'm really excited to see what the judge thinks. <laughs> and judging our contestants' creations today is the celebrity critic you all love to hate, Eggs Benedict Arnold. Thanks, Chuck. Ho hum, another round of energy efficiency kits to be judged. Excuse my lack of enthusiasm, but I'm yet to be impressed by this program. Will today break the curse? I sincerely doubt it. All right, Adam Grizzly, why don't you show us your energy efficiency kit first? Oh, with pleasure. Here we have a various collection of some very energetic species from just off the shore. We have a grouper, a marlin, and a red snapper. And for a little variety, we have a sea cucumber. Right, Squeaky? <laughs> I think you misunderstood. You're supposed to create an energy efficiency kit. Really? Darn! Uh, I thought you said an energy fish in sea kit. You don't get it? How derivative. Okay, moving on. Horace Flyman, time to show us your kit. Finally. All right, well, uh, there's nothing more energy efficient than reusing waste, right? So, I've assembled this masterpiece of energy efficiency. First of all, I, I got in here a uh, incandescent, broken incandescent bulb. Should be able to fix that, no problem. And uh, then I, over here, I got uh, a old discarded garden hose, uh, which I can use to make a makeshift, mostly leak-proof uh, shower. And uh, then, lastly, I have this old electric blanket, which uh, only shocks you half of the time. <laughs> You got me with the smell, and, well, you lost me with the taser blanket. I'm kicking this one to the curb. Nice try, Horace. That leaves just one contestant. Lorraine Quiche, it's yours for the taking. Behold, my energy kit. Inside, you will find not one, but two LED light bulbs, a water-efficient shower head, two water faucet aerators, an LED night light, a water flow meter bag, a switch and outlet insulators, and a couple of fun glow ring toys. Wow, Lorraine! That kit has a lot of energy saving potential. But what does Eggs Benedict Arnold have to say? OMG! Eggs Benedict Arnold has never granted a winner on Kilowatt Kitchen. Is today my lucky day? In all the seasons of Kilowatt Kitchen, I have never had an energy efficiency kit so terribly perfect. It is the epitome of energy efficiency. And I uh, really like this little, this little glow ring toy. Pew! 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 Lorraine, you've won Kilowatt Kitchen! Congratulations! Thanks, Chuck. I couldn't have done it without the team at My Energy Kit. Through the in-school program, Kilowatt Kitchen, Duke Energy customers can sign up for their free energy kits at myenergykit.org. They helped me get all these energy-efficient items for free. And guess what? You can request your free kit, too. 
Just visit myenergykit.org or call our toll-free number. Thanks, Lorraine. We'll see you next time on Kilowatt Kitchen. <laughs>